I'd like to begin first of all by just saying how beautiful does my little sister look today? She's absolutely stunning. If we could just give her a round of applause first of all. I congratulate Stephen. You've done a great job of finding a good wife. A jewel, a treasure, a Filipina, pure Filipina. My wife is not here today, but she told me. She has seen Stephen and she said, he's a good man. Yes, indeed. He's a good man. Every Valentine's Day, I would give her uh, flowers because I would always tell him, tell her that no one will give her flowers, so I should be the one doing it to her. But now, um, my heart is at peace because I know that every Valentine's Day, I hope that there will be someone called Stephen Wood who will be giving her um, flowers, not only on Valentine's Day, but in every special occasion that you will be spending for the rest of your life. Stephen's not only my little brother, he's my best friend. Um, so when we were growing up, we shared a room together. Um, and my mum would force me to take him everywhere with me. It never really bothered me that much um, until I used to take him to football. So it was all fine, all well and good until he became better than me. Um, and then suddenly I didn't want to take him anymore. This is the proudest day of our lives because our baby has grown from a beautiful little girl into a beautiful young woman. Today is the, the, the most proud I've ever felt of my little brother. Um, he's got a wife who he's lucky to have, who I know he will cherish, and I know they'll have a happy and long relationship with each other. You were different from all the guys I dated, but the main difference is you never gave up. I remember once when we had a fight and I'm on the verge of breaking up, I told you that maybe we're not supposed to be together. And when you replied, I readied myself that you will have a breakup with me. Instead, you said maybe we are not supposed to be together, but I finally found what I want and I won't give up. I love you forever and eternity. Miss Stephen Joseph Wood. Stephen Wood, you are my greatest and best son in law. So far, as I still have one bachelorette daughter. want her to find the mister, right? The daddy is willing to pay the whole wedding. So whoever wants to get married for free. Scottish, Welsh, Irish, and English are well known to be polite, kind, sweet, honest, loving, and caring. It's, I can assure you that Stephen has all these characteristics. Now you have found a man who loves and respects you. Wherever you will be in life, you will always be our princess, Bunso. Aww. Oh, from Steven. Oh, from Steven. Oh. I just wanted to put pen to paper and tell you how much you mean to me. How much I love you, and that meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me. You are more beautiful than I could ever dream of explaining. When I look at you, I know that I am the luckiest man in the world to have you looking back at it. I know, right? <laughs> I knew, as other fathers do, that one day daughters will find partners and get married. I always wish that our daughters get the best of life and find the right men to love and cherish them. When the student came to our house alone for dinner, he was a fresh, radiant, and well attired, not as normal Stephen as I've known. When Stephen asked my blessings and permissions to marry my precious daughter, while afterwards he owned me the diamond ring. Suddenly, my worries vanished and washed away. 
the day has come where you will be my wife and I just want to make sure you know I will spend every day from here on out making sure you know I love you more than anything. All my love forever, Stephen. <laughs> this beautiful union between Europe and Asia. There's no color, there's no creed, there's no religion. Love transcends every barrier. It is love, but not compatibility, that makes a relationship perfect. You have given me the greatest gift. You can give me the gift of love. I thank you for everything you have done for me, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Message to my to Stephen. See you at the altar. Wow. <laughs> You would have wished ever since you were young to walk down the aisle and to feel the romantic feeling of uh, people looking at you, cheering and smiling and crying for you because somehow the time has come for you to offer yourself to somebody. So uh, it is important for Stephen and Dian to understand that in this uh, life that they are about to embark on, this journey that they are about to undertake, they need very much the presence of God. God becomes a third person in your marital relationship. He was the one who invited you and provided you the opportunity to meet one another. And he's the one who is going to have the power to sustain this relationship. There was once a study that was done to better understand what goes on in the minds of those who are about to get married. And in that study, they found out that those who are about to get married most often would have an imagery of what a perfect marriage is supposed to be in their minds. But once they begin to leave the day-to-day -day reality of marital life, they begin to understand that there is no such thing as a perfect marriage. What there is are imperfect partners. And I think that is the challenge that is uh, posed before Stephen and Ian were about to make their promise of love and fidelity, not only between the two of them, but also more so before God. One of the biggest evidence you did choose rightly is that at the end of it all, both of you will end up becoming very close friends. You will 
begin to really understand why you are able to grow old with this uh, partner of yours and because of the blessing that God provides you to the children that you're going to have in the future then you are also going to see that your sense of fulfillment you know your sense of uh, happiness your sense of joy will not really come from material things it will not come from uh, from being powerful or being knowledgeable or intelligent but more than anything it comes from that sense of peace that sense of contentment that you made the right choice I, Stephen, take you, Diane, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Diane, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all days of my life. by the authority of the church calling on all those present here as witnesses confirm and bless the bond of marriage which you have contracted in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Diane, where is living as a sign of my unconditional love and loyalty for as long as I live in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Stephen, wear this ring as a sign of my unconditional love and loyalty for as long as I live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Diane, I give you this array as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare and that of our children. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I accept them with the promise that I will be your equal partner in working for our welfare and that of the children God will give us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Stephen, aren't you supposed to kiss the bride? Huh? Come on. Like this, we come alive in moments like this. Here we are, this is 
Gentlemen, listen up. They say ages ago, cake symbolizes good fortune, good luck, and fertility with a twist. The bigger the bunch, the bigger the blessing. Yes. Woo! That's quite big. But Mrs. Diane, it could be bigger. Come on. Shout bigger. Bigger. Go! For bigger blessings! Yay! Let's give them a round of applause. All right, thank you. The wine symbolizes the sum of their life's experiences. The sweetness of love, joy, contentment, and the bitterness of sadness, despair, and disappointment. But without one another, it will not be complete. Just like your love for each other and just like wine, love gets better with age. Earlier, it was bigger the bunch, the bigger the blessing. This time, listen up. They say, 
Whoever finishes first will be the commander. All right. Put your bets on. Cheers. Cheers. Do the infinity sign. One. Who will take control of the house? One, two, three, go. Come on. Woo! Yes. Girl power. <laughs> I like that. That's so fun. Diane is a wonderful daughter to me. She gave us so much joy, happiness over the years, in spite of the taste and constantly buying shoes unnecessarily. <laughs> Nevertheless, she is a perfect young lady. Who am I proud to be my daughter? However, no one is more prouder than Mr. Stephen Wood. I'm sure for that. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I, for one, a good witness of the relationship from infancy. When Stephen started to court Diane, and Diane, being the daughter of my good friend, is somehow like a daughter to me. It is a great pleasure for me to have this opportunity to wish them well. Congratulations, Diane and Stephen. We wish you all the best, a fruitful and successful relationship. Always put God as the center of your relationship. God bless you and we love you. Just remember this very special day when you actually exchanged vows to each other, not only to each other, but in front of all of us who are closest to you, who love you individually and as a couple. Just remember this day and um, let this day remind you how you are in love with each other. Diane, submit yourself to Stephen, and Stephen, love and respect Diane. Best wishes to both of you on this wonderful journey as you build your new lives together. May the years ahead be filled with lasting love and happiness. First of all, I would like to say sorry to Steven. Actually, for uh, I would like to apologize to you for letting you get into this situation. I could have warned you earlier so that you could have not reached this kind of imprisonment, you know. <laughs> you know how crazy my sister is. She's really crazy. Well, aside from that craziness of my sister, you're actually getting now the greatest love that you can have. She's very... <laughs> she is um, supportive. She is always been there to me through uh, a thick and thin, through happiness and sadness. I uh, witnessed um, personally how she takes care of someone, especially when you're down and when, when you're at your, your lowest point. So that kind of love is actually rare. And the kind of love that would actually want to commit with you is actually very rare. So you're very lucky and very blessed to have my sister. Love you both. 
I'm giving you this as a gift. I hope you'll like it. Here in Philippines, they said that if the younger sister gets married first, then the older sister, I have to have gift to her. To give her good luck in finding the right man. <laughs> She's a stage sister. Whenever I, I, I join pageant, she'll be like, No, you have to do this, you have to do that. So whenever there's a project at school, she's the one <laughs> who does the, all the projects. I get high score, but it's not because of me, it's because of her. I mean, Donna kind of took the wind out of my sails because I was going to say sorry to you for having to take on Stephen. Um, so now you're both stuck with each other. I didn't think I could cry as hard as I did when he left to go to London. That was until the day that he told me he was moving to Singapore. Um, now, when he moved to Singapore, I seed him off to the airport, uh, I said goodbye, and I, I'm not ashamed to say I cried a lot, a lot. I was just very scared. My, as I say, he was my best friend growing up, um, and I, as you know, I did everything for you. You, you would not even order a takeaway yourself. <laughs> that you had to get me to do everything. So how you were going to cope on the other side of the world blew my mind. <laughs> but not only did he cope, he excelled. It didn't come without its pitfalls though. There was one Christmas where Stephen phoned me, it was Christmas day, and he was very, very upset. This was before he'd met Diane. And he was crying a lot down the phone, which upset me because being the big brother, I've always looked after him and I could do nothing. So the only thing I could do was scold him and tell him, come home. I can't do anything for you where you are, just come home. And it was a weird mix of emotions that when I got off the phone to be so upset because he was upset, but so happy because I thought he's going to come home. <laughs> and about three weeks later, he met Diane and he didn't come home. <laughs> I'd just like to thank not only you, Diane, but you, Donna, Arnold, all of the family, because on behalf of my family as well, You've taken him in, you've looked after him, you've embraced him, and you've made him happy. There was a very important person in our lives growing up. It was our grandfather. Um, our dad wasn't around as much, um, but our grandfather was. And he passed away a little while back. And the only way Stephen made it to the funeral from the other side of the world was because of Diane. And that didn't go unnoticed from our family. And thank you for everything you've done. I'd just like to wish you both a lifetime of happiness filled with joy and laughter and Chris is a great name for a child. <laughs> I love you both. So if you could raise your glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Wood. So everyone again, raise your glasses, raise it higher. So here's to love, laughter and happily ever after. Cheers! You there you go.
Michael does is also the exact same thing that Donna and Lee will do. And we have three stages for today. The easy, the average, and the difficult kiss. Yes, we are talking about kisses. So, Mr. and Mrs. Wood, where would be the easy kiss? Kiss me. Easy. Kiss. On the cheeks. Wait. I, very game and prepared. Actually, Lee, you have to do it for three seconds. Hold it until the third down. One, two, three. All right. Very easy. Level up. Where would be the average kiss? Average. Lee, kiss Donna on the neck for. Wait, hold on. The parents are so happy. The parents are so happy. You don't have to worry. Four, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Level up again. Where would be the last and the difficult kiss? Go. <laughs> Careful, you guys. Where? <laughs> Kiss on the lips. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, you don't have to worry. The parents are very happy. <laughs> All right, let's give them a round of applause. But if you think that's the end, that's it. You want more? <laughs> now, now, everyone, if you think that's it, remember, Sir Stephen needed to dance his way. With the sexy dance, it's also the exact same thing Sir Lee will do. All right, so, Donna, music please. Sexy dance. Sexier. <laughs> that was fantastic. You make it look Sexier. Lower. <laughs> it's okay, Donna wanted it. I'm never confused. It's the exact same thing, Donna. Okay, yeah. Sexier. <laughs> and more. You have to dance. Dance. <laughs> to put the garter using your teeth and everyone if you want it higher just shout higher go Lee we're rooting for you Lee come on higher 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 <laughs> Higher! All right. Give them a round of applause. Give them a round of applause. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Now we would like to hear messages from the parents. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all here tonight to, celeb to celebrate the marriage of Stephen and Diane. Welcome to Gragasin family, Stephen. Diane, you came into this world, you won our hearts, but now someone has won yours. <laughs> Diane, our little Bunso, I am the happiest mother in the world because my Bunso, my little, my little girl has found her Prince Charming. And I know she's going to have many happy years together with him. You are the story of success of our lives with your dad, Kuya, and Ate. We wish you endless happiness and joy in your new journey. Our dreams has been to see you succeed in life. 
Marriott's life is but a road full of twists and turns, no matter how bumpy it is. Learn to enjoy this side, the ride for every, every twist and turn, a, and turn a blessing will come in return. In God's blessings, enriches, enriches you both. Look to each other's strength and forgive each other's weaknesses. Congratulations and best wishes. Good evening to everyone. I'm not a speaker or speech composer. My sincerest apology in advance should my nose bleed in the course of this speech. Thank you very much, and that's all. <laughs> really, times pass by so quickly, and here I am today, nervously speaking, in front of everyone. She's an ebony, but she, she's an ivory. It's so obvious, right? <laughs> she called elevator, and he said, Bear, it's a lift. <laughs> On breakfast, she consumed rice, but he is not. <laughs> Whereas she called gasoline, he said, Bear, it's petrol. <laughs> there are many things in opposite, however. One thing they have in common, this is the best thing. They're both in love with each other. Dan and Stephen, I now. Again, wish you that my, may you have a great life together and be very happy. And my life's gonna, and when life's gonna be tough, be patient and brave. Remember this? Air, seeing of the air when the going gets tough. That air alludes to my love and my affection. You might not see the love in my actions, but always believe that you always feel it. Except when I'm angry, so that air is chemically known as carbon monoxide. In short, it's a fart. <laughs> Me and your mom will always be there for you. If you ever need anything, everything because of love. Finally, I would like to have a toast to Diane Steven for the happy and healthy future together. I would like to invite everyone to please join me in giving him a toast, giving them a toast. Thank you, thank you very much. That was so fun. We were drawn. Wow, all right. Let's give a big hand to Mr. and Mrs. Dragasin. Let's give them a round of applause. I want to say an important thank you to everyone who came from the UK. I really appreciate it. Not just my brother, but my fellow brothers all came. I really appreciate it. I want to say a thank you to the Gregerson family. Donna, Don, to Jen, everyone. You all helped out so much. I really appreciate it. You helped make this day amazing and special. Finally, and most importantly, I want to thank the person who I married today. Diane, I love you. This is the greatest day of my life. Thank you very much. I remember Stephen t told me that a um, few years from now, you won't remember the people that aren't here, but you'll remember the people that were here. So thank you so much for taking time. Um, I know some of you traveled half of the world to attend this wedding. Everyone from my family side, uh, thank you for coming. I would also like to um, thank uh, Chris, Dean, Rachel, Lee, Chef Michael. I know it's very expensive to fly from UK to here, but thank you for traveling all the way to Philippines. I would also like to um, thank my parents and <laughs> my parents um, for being such wonderful parents to us, to daddy. You've sacrificed a lot. To mommy, thank you for taking good care of us while daddy is away. 
Thank you to my brother and sister and Ate Jen. They're actually the ones um, who went to different food tasting, venue, uh, venue searching. Yeah, and uh, they also booked Color Vegas Church. And Fonzie. <laughs> Ate Jen was pregnant with Fonzie. <laughs> during the planning this event wouldn't be possible without you and yes thank you so much i would like to say thank you to steven's family for welcoming me to your family uh we i've only met chris in person but um they've been so nice to me and I, please tell them i can't wait to meet them hopefully this year or next year Mabuhay ang bagong kasal! Mabuhay! Mabuhay!